Welcome to another one of our HubSpot tutorials. This is CJ with The Gist. We're an inbound marketing and growth agency and certified HubSpot solutions partner based in Buffalo, New York. Let's dive in. This video is going to be about how you can automate tasks and task assignment in HubSpot. Most people think about HubSpot automation and HubSpot workflows as a tool for external communication, following up on leads or running a, a drip campaign to nurture leads to try and generate more qualified opportunities for your sales team. And while that certainly is an effective use of the tool and one that we recommend, uh, what's often overlooked is, is how useful HubSpot automation can be for internal purposes, internal communication, list segmentation, contact organization, and in this case, task management. This is something that your sales and customer service teams would really appreciate, right? This is bringing tasks to them uh, based on certain updates or and or behaviors that uh, uh, of your contacts in your CRM. So let's get into it. So anytime you're talking about workflows, you wanna go into automation and then workflows. I'm gonna create a workflow. I'm starting from scratch. Uh, in this instance, I'm gonna go with a contact-based workflow. If you're interested in what company deal, ticket, or quote-based workflows are like and why to use them, I would encourage you to schedule a free HubSpot strategy session with us or just drop us a line. We can clarify what different object-based workflows mean and how to use them. But in this instance, we're doing a contact-based workflow because it's based on something that a contact does, either a, an, a manual update to a record or a behavior by that contact, either you know through um, interacting with your emails or visiting your website, right? So um, let's say that um, we want to create a task for a contact that already exists in the CRM, and let's say they they, they take a specific action. Um, so a really good example is when let's say you have a contact who is associated with an open deal, right? This is an active prospect. They're talking with your sales team and you want to create a task for your salesperson to follow up when that contact takes meaningful action, right? Your salespeople want to know when somebody they're talking with and they have an open deal with takes an action that they think, right, indicates um, worthy of follow up. So. I'll show, I'll show you how this works, right? There's another video that we have that, that breaks down all the different ways you can create enrollment criteria in a workflow because every workflow, it, based, it starts with enrollment criteria and then triggers um, a variety of actions and options. But let's just say that, um, you know, contact property um, associated deals is known. So this means they have a deal associated with this contact. There is a deal in your pipeline. This means they're, they're, they're a qualified prospect. They're being worked. Um, and um, we can say page views, right? Contact has viewed a specific page, right? Um, and maybe you can say www.thegistcontent.com. Um, and so in this case, it's any um, page um, that includes this URL, but you can even be more precise. Let's say they viewed a pricing page or a product page or something like that. So now you have a really nice filter where, okay, you have a deal and you have a contact that has an open deal and now they've also visited a page. Your sales reps are probably going to want to be notified. Additionally, not only do you want to notify them, but you want to create a task for them to follow up. That's a really simple uh, enrollment trigger that would ultimately trigger a specific action, which in this case would be to create a task. And in this case, you can say um, first name, last name, and this is gonna pull right from the contact record from first name, last name from company name um, is looking at our website, maybe follow up. And I'm going to do, do immediately email reminder right away. Um, they have viewed our pricing page. Give them a call. It's a to-do, or I can make it be a call. Uh, you can associate it with all company records and deal records. Um, if you have a shared task queue, you can put it in that queue. You can set the priority, and then you can assign it to the contact's existing owner. Um, so that way, whoever owns it within your CRM, 
is going to get that task. And that is an exceedingly simple way to automate task automation, um, to automate task assignment and creation rather. And what's important to realize is that you can create a variety of task, tasks based on a variety of triggers. You know, maybe somebody fills out a form and it's a support form and you can create a task for a support rep or a sales rep or any member of your team. As you can see, there's just so many options that you have, but what it ultimately boils down to is uh, more efficiency and productivity and shortening the feedback loop between uh, your prospects and clients and your team. So that's how to automate tasks in HubSpot. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you wanna dive deeper into this topic, suggest we do a new tutorial on a new topic, or if you wanna learn more about our HubSpot onboarding and support services, head on over to thegistcontent.com slash HubSpot. Thanks for watching.